Who knew that beneath the scorching sands of the Sahara lay some of history's most perplexing secrets? This vast expanse of desert, baking under an unforgiving sun, holds within its heart stories that stretch back to the dawn of humanity. Stories whispered on the wind, etched in rock, and buried beneath the dunes. From ancient human remains and bizarre creatures to lost cities and unexplained formations, the desert has been hiding wonders that continue to baffle scientists. These aren't just dusty relics of a forgotten past, they are tangible links to bygone eras, offering us glimpses into lost worlds and pushing the boundaries of our understanding. Join me as we journey together, venturing into the heart of the Sahara to uncover its greatest secrets. We'll delve into the mysteries that lie buried beneath the sand, exploring the wonders that this seemingly barren landscape has preserved for millennia. Our journey begins high above the earth, gazing down upon a site that has captivated imaginations for decades, the Eye of the Sahara. Known to scientists as the Rishat structure, its rings, composed of varying rock types, ripple outwards, hinting at a history far more profound than their barren beauty suggests. Initially thought to be the result of a meteorite impact, the eye's origins remain shrouded in debate. Some researchers believe it to be the result of geological uplift and erosion, the work of eons of wind and weather carving out its unique shape. But others point to the eye's remarkable symmetry, its uncanny resemblance to depictions of the legendary lost city of Atlantis. As described by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato, the Eye of the Sahara, with its haunting beauty and enigmatic origins, serves as a stark reminder that we have only just begun to scratch the surface of the Sahara's secrets. Deep within the Sahara, in a region once teeming with life, lie the fossilized remains of our ancestors, their bones whispering tales of a time long before recorded history. Dated to be over 300,000 years old, these remains challenge our understanding of human evolution. They suggest that the cradle of humanity, once thought to be confined to a smaller region of Africa, might have been far more widespread. The discovery of stone tools alongside these remains paints a vivid picture of these early humans, resourceful hunters and gatherers, adapting to the harsh realities of their environment. They remind us that the Sahara, now a symbol of arid desolation, was once a vibrant stage for the unfolding drama of human evolution. Imagine a creature so colossal, so strange, that it seems to defy the very laws of nature. That creature is Spinosaurus, the largest predatory dinosaur to ever walk the earth, and the Sahara holds the key to unlocking its secrets. Uncovered from the sandstone of the Kem Kem beds, a fossil treasure trove in southeastern Morocco, Spinosaurus was unlike any dinosaur ever seen before. Its bones, unlike those of its land-bound brethren, showed adaptations for a life spent largely in water. Dense bones, perfect for buoyancy control, and a long, crocodile-like snout, ideal for snaring fish, pointed towards a startling conclusion. Spinosaurus was the first ever swimming dinosaur. The Sahara, once again, had revealed a creature so bizarre, so unexpected, that it challenged the very foundations of our scientific knowledge. Deep in the Egyptian Sahara, Wadi al-Hitan, or the Valley of the Whales, reveals an ancient graveyard of colossal proportions. Nearly 1,000 fossilized whale remains lie amidst the dunes and cliffs. These ancestors of modern whales were transitioning from land to sea. Their skeletons, some over 50 feet long, lay scattered across the desert floor. These fossils provide a unique window into the past. Imagine trekking through the searing sands of the Sahara, the sun beating down relentlessly and stumbling upon a sight so unexpected it stops you in your tracks. Scattered across the desert floor, gleaming like shards of fallen stars, lie pieces of a strange, translucent material. Desert glass. This enigmatic substance, found in patches across the Sahara, is composed of nearly pure silica, melted and fused together under unimaginable heat. Some believe it to be the result of ancient volcanic eruptions, while others point to the possibility of lightning strikes, their immense energy melting the sand into glass. However, the most compelling theory suggests an extraterrestrial origin. Could these glassy fragments be the remnants of a meteorite impact? a catastrophic event that shook the Sahara thousands of years ago. In the heart of the Sahara, where water is as precious as life itself, there exists a creature that defies the odds, a testament to the tenacious grip of life. This marvel of evolution is the lungfish, a creature so well adapted to its arid environment that it can survive for years without water. 
buried alive beneath the baked earth. As the waterholes dry up and the land turns to dust, the lungfish burrows deep into the mud, secreting a mucus that hardens into a protective cocoon. Within this earthen tomb, the lungfish enters a state of suspended animation, its metabolic rate slowing to a crawl, its very life force seemingly put on hold. It can remain in this state, surviving on minimal moisture and nutrients for years, even decades, waiting for the life-giving rains to return. And when the rains finally arrive, transforming the parched landscape into a temporary oasis, the lungfish emerges from its slumber, as if resurrected from the dead. Picture this. The searing midday sun, baking the Saharan sands to a lethal 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Most creatures seek refuge from this blistering heat, but not the Saharan silver ant. This tiny inhabitant of the dunes, no bigger than a grain of rice, embraces the heat, venturing out at the hottest time of day when predators dare not tread. These ants are masters of speed, their long spindly legs carrying them across the scorching sand at astonishing speeds. In fact, relative to their size, they are the fastest ants on earth, clocking in at over 100 body lengths per second. Their silver sheen, far from being merely decorative, plays a crucial role in their survival, acting as heat reflectors, bouncing back the sun's rays and helping the ants maintain a stable internal temperature. When we think of pyramids, our minds instantly conjure up images of the majestic structures of Giza, their towering forms silhouetted against the Egyptian sky. But Egypt isn't the only land to boast these architectural marvels, scattered across the vast expanse of the Sahara. Often hidden beneath shifting sands or nestled within remote valleys lie the remnants of lost kingdoms, their pyramids standing as silent sentinels of a bygone era. In Sudan, for instance, we find the Nubian pyramids, over 200 of them clustered in various necropolises across the desert. Smaller in stature than their Egyptian counterparts, these pyramids nevertheless possess a stark beauty, their steep sides and pointed peaks reflecting the brilliance of the desert sun. These pyramids, scattered across the Sahara like forgotten jewels, tell tales of powerful rulers, complex societies, and advanced civilizations that thrived in a landscape we now consider inhospitable. Imagine stepping back in time to Timgad, a Roman city frozen in glory. Its streets, temples and baths are remarkably preserved beneath the Saharan sun. Founded by Emperor Trajan, Timgad was a marvel of urban planning. Today it stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of the Roman Empire. The Sahara Desert is far more than an endless stretch of sand. It's a time capsule filled with secrets waiting to be uncovered, from the fossilized whispers of creatures long extinct to the crumbling ruins of forgotten civilizations. The Sahara challenges our perceptions and rewrites the very history we thought we knew. With every discovery, new questions arise, challenging our understanding of history, nature and the forces that have shaped our planet. The Sahara, once considered a barren wasteland, reveals itself to be a land of untold wonders, a place where the past is not lost but preserved, waiting to be unearthed. What other mysteries lie buried beneath the dunes, waiting to be found? The answers, I believe, are out there, waiting for us to venture into the heart of the desert and listen to the whispers of the past.